This video is going to show you how to access the virtual lab that we're going to use on our chemistry textbook. The first thing you're going to do is go to the URL sso.ems-isd.net. This is our single sign-on for the district. Once we get to this page, you're going to type in your username and your password and go ahead and click sign in. Once you log into the single sign-on, this is what your screen is going to look like. If you're using a school computer, you're already going to have Microsoft Office downloaded. However, if you have a personal computer and you do not have Microsoft Word, then you're going to want to go over here to Office 365 and click on that. And then you're going to sign in again using your combination. And then you'll arrive at your Office 365 portal. Up here at the top right, there's a button called Install Office. When you click that, you can actually download the Office programs and it'll put these on your computer. Again, if you're using a school laptop, you do not need to do this. However, if you have a personal computer at home that does not include Microsoft Word and Microsoft Office, then you'll want to go ahead and download this. I'm going to go back to my single sign-on portal. And the next button we're going to click is Holt McDougal Online. This is the textbook that we're going to use, the HMH. It looks right like this on here. We're going to click on that icon, and this is going to take us to the website for our virtual textbook. This is what your screen is going to look like. And we are going to click Student Resources. After this loads up, this is how you're going to access your different chapters in your book. You can click up here where it says select a unit or chapter, and then you can drag down and find what we're working with. Today, we're going to be working with Chapter 1. I'm going to go ahead and click on Chapter 1, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click the Go button. And that is going to bring me to Chapter 1. Now you can use the ebook to read uh, the different sections and get a little more, bit more uh, background information if you need that. Today, what we're going to be accessing is the Student Resources tab right here underneath Chapter 1. I'm going to click on that, and that's going to give me all these green icons. We are going to look for the word interactive, and we're going to click on that, and then we're going to go down to Virtual Labs, and we're going to go ahead and click on this first lab. It's going to go ahead and load up, and then we'll proceed forward as soon as it's done loading. This is the screen that's going to pop up whenever it finishes loading. I'm going to click on Start after reading the screen, and it's going to bring you into your lab. Over here on the side, there's a button that says Download Your Lab Report Now. You can click that to download your report, or if you already downloaded it from the module, then you'll use that. It's the same form, but by clicking on that, a download button it's going to pull up this form and then I'm going to go ahead and open it and this is how we're going to be recording our virtual lab it is important to click the enable editing button up at the top in order for you to be able to type into the lab so once you do that then you'll have the ability to come in here and type in your name your class period the date and then if you scroll through you can actually see the different sections of this it's got some background reading then it has a place for you to type in your plan for the lab. And then it's got some places for you to fill out observations. And then we've got our conclusion and post lab questions at the very end of this document. You can either go back and forth between the screens by pulling open uh, your internet browser and going back to Word. Or you can actually click at the top up here and throw it off to the side of your screen and then do the same for uh, your document. However, there are parts of this that will be hard to see, so if you need to just go back and full screen, uh, you can. Now, to navigate through the lab, there's a button down here that's flashing. You do want to make sure your audio is on because that's going to uh, talk to you, and you can use closed captions down here if you need to. But to navigate through the lab, you're going to click the arrow. You'll listen to what the person is telling you to do and you'll know, keep navigating through by clicking the arrows. If you ever need to go back, you can just click the back arrow. And then up at the top, it also takes you through the same different sections that are on your lab. So we're starting with problem, and then going to our planning phase, and then performing the lab. And it's the same thing on here. You got your problem, your planning, your perform, and so on. Once we do get into the lab, there are some interactive components that require you to click and drag things. So just keep that in mind. And then when you actually get to the part where you're performing your test, um, it is going to involve you 
to uh, click through and add different things and, and change that. You'll want to play around with it to kind of get a feel for it, but make sure you're reading the instructions on your uh, lab instruct or on your lab report, and also uh, listen to what they're telling you to do on the virtual lab. It is very important that you read all parts of that and listen to all parts of this virtual lab because it might may be confusing if you're just skipping ahead and trying to jump to the perform part without knowing what you're doing. If we were in school doing a lab like this where you have to plan and then perform and then write your questions for the conclusion, this is a lab that it, at school would take multiple days. And because of that, you're going to have multiple days to do this while we're doing remote learning. If you have any questions at all, please contact your teacher and they can help you with that. When you're finished with the lab and you've done all your questions, then what you're going to do is you're going to save your document and you can save it somewhere on your computer. And then once you have that saved to your computer, then you're going to go into Canvas and you're going to upload it. When you finish with your lab report, you're going to go back to Canvas and you're going to click on Virtual Lab Separation of Mixtures. And then that should bring you to this page. Then we can click Submit Assignment up at the top. And then we're going to scroll down and you're going to find wherever you saved your file. So if you saved it to your computer, then you can do it here. If you saved it to your OneDrive or your Office 365, then you can click here. After you upload that, then you're going to submit assignment and then you're all done. Again, if you have any questions during this assignment, please reach out to your teachers and they can help you.